Hey guys, welcome to another studio vlog. So I'm Holly, if you're new here, I'm an artist. Let's get into it. So, I'm going to show you what I've been working at today. I might have to pick you up. So I don't know how well you can see these, I'll probably just put a photo on the screen. But um, I've been working on these tattoo sticker designs. I just finished the line art for the snake and I just mocked up all the colours. So you might have seen this one already. This is my original character Ivan and she's like the main focus of this sticker pack so she is just this demon girl and she normally has tattoos I didn't draw them on her this time because the sticker will be quite small so I didn't want to busy it up too much and then all of these stickers are basically based on her tattoos I've got four designs so far I want to do two or three more perhaps I'm not sure if I want this peony to be pink or orange but I think I will decide when I have some other designs done I might decide that by the end of this vlog but if I haven't uh, please let me know which one that you like better so these are all supposed to go together and I am going to change the colors of the body of this lunar moth just because it's a bit too too dark but yeah I'm really happy with these two so I just need to color them properly so yeah that's what I've been working on this morning I think I'm gonna take a break from that and then maybe film a TikTok that I can post tonight and then probably do some work on Taurus. I'm feeling good that these are starting to get done. I wanted to do quite a bit yesterday but I ended up having like a huge tension headache that just kept getting worse throughout the day and didn't manage to get to go away until this morning so <laughs> yesterday was just a no work day for me. Today is going to be productive. Yeah so I guess I'll talk a little bit about Taurus as well. So I talked about before that I was getting a little bit anxious about going like getting back into Taurus again because I've left it for so long. I think I last did it in September. I've done a little bit on it. When was it? Late last week. And yeah I started to get back in into it again. I did some more lines and started rendering the hair as well and I adjusted the colors so they're kind of warmer which I think helped it a lot. But I guess I'm just finding it difficult to pick it back up and start rendering straight away. So I think I'm gonna just do some rough sketching over the top and try to figure out what I need to do. Just start really loose to begin with and then get back into rendering stuff. I think that will help. Yeah, so let's do that. Printing some colors on the back so they won't be uh, white, maybe a light pink or something. And here are the earrings. Here you go.
Hey guys, how you doing? So I'll be honest, I'm in a bit of a bad mood at the moment because I'm trying to... I have this old hard drive. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It came with like software, like a backup software that you're supposed to use to like back up your computer. I don't know, I always kind of found that annoying and lately it hasn't been recognising the drive when I plug it in. And I did some googling and people basically said that you can just format the hard drive and get rid of the software and then just use it as a normal hard drive. External hard drive, by the way. Basically the main reason that I wanted to do that is because A, the software was being shit and B, every time I tried to open the hard drive it was just like super slow, it would freeze my find a window, it would take like 10 minutes to open a folder and all that stuff. So luckily there wasn't anything important on it, so I just decided to format it and hope that would fix it, but it hasn't. And the most recent attempt took three days and it still didn't work. So yeah, I'm gonna have to probably buy a new hard drive because I think I was busted. I must have dropped it or unplugged it at the wrong time or something, I don't know. I'm just annoyed about it because now I'm just paranoid that I don't really have a backup of all my art files. <laughs> Aside from that, I've sort of just been having like I guess art block issues. I've been working on Taurus and it's been really difficult to get back into the flow of things. I've sort of been making progress but it's like I do half an hour or an hour at a time and then I just sort of go like I don't know what to do next. I don't know where I want this to be. <laughs> and then I just close it and come back to it in three days and the same thing happens again. I've been working on some sticker designs as well that I talked about earlier. I finished two of those, both of the moth ones. So that's been good. I quite enjoyed drawing those. It was nice to draw something that's not a portrait and something that was a bit quicker as well. I feel like I always say that. <laughs> Maybe I should just try to make an art style that's quicker. <laughs> I've been thinking about the next shop update. I had, I had one plan and the tattoo stickers is part of it and that hasn't changed but yeah I'm not I don't really have a clear timeline at the moment because I'm still looking for work for a part-time job and if I manage to find one then that's going to eat into time that I have for art. I feel like maybe I've sort of been slowing down because of the the job search thing and there's just this uncertainty that if I find something then I don't know how much time that's going to take out of the time that I've had this past year or so to work on art and yeah I guess I'm a little bit worried about being able to like form a schedule that works and a schedule that I can stick to because in the past when I had my last job in 2019 I just found it really difficult to work on anything that was I didn't make art that was, I don't know, as detailed as I do now and I found it hard to find time to like develop my skill and make what I really wanted to make so I guess I'm worried that I'm going to get stuck in that rut again where I have a job that I don't really like and I don't really want to do but then when I'm at home I'm drained from having to do that job. Yeah and I guess the other thing is that I'm like I want to work on new things and do bigger stuff but it's hard to start something that's kind of a bigger project if I feel like I'm gonna have less time than I thought to work on it. So many trains. But I guess the main thing is I need to work out how to how to build a schedule that works for me and then I can stick to. Thank you for listening.
winds southerly at about 15 with gusts of 25 miles an hour. Barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising. And no precipitation. We're about a half inch behind, fresh and a half inch ahead for the year, and one and 53 hundredths behind for the for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility of some scattered showers. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system. That wide band of fairly heavy snow. You know what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there. That begins at six o'clock in the morning, and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until two o'clock this afternoon. So as of that. Hey guys, so I'm going to test the durability of some of my stickers. I've got some misprints that I'm going to put on this water bottle that I'm about to use. And then I'm going to, yeah, just wash it under some water and see how it holds up. I think it's important to have confidence in your own products. So I want to make sure that they can hold up to water. And wash it. Okay, so I have did a quick wash and dry and I used cold water, uh, running over was fine, rubbing it with the hand was fine, it still feels smooth. I did a little bit with hot water again to see if that would change anything and it's still fine. I can see there's like tiny little scratches on the surface but it's not taken any of the ink off.
Um, what? I didn't do that. <laughs> hey guys, so I wasn't gonna film today until I have my lunch and put some makeup on, but um, having an issue with my YouTube channel, I moved it to a brand account because I wanted to change the name on my Google account back to my actual name because I'm using it for my main email now. So I moved my YouTube channel so I could still have the Art by Holly name without my Google account being called Art by Holly so I can send personal emails that don't say Art by Holly. Um, it deleted all my comments for one thing but it did warn me on that one. Didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> I've had a small panic. I did some googling and somebody said that it fixed for them when they uploaded a video so hopefully when this video goes up tomorrow morning it will be okay. Fingers crossed because um, I can still access my YouTube studio and all my stats and stuff but I can't click on my actual channel. Uh, I'm worried. <sighs> hey guys, I finished Taurus. Yay. Ugh. I don't know why I had such a hard time doing it, but I'm so glad it's done. I'm still debating on like one possible final detail that I want to maybe add, but yeah, I wanted to let it sit for a little bit and then decide. But yeah, it's pretty much done. Yay. So I can't remember if I talked about this at all before, but I wanted to speak a little bit about the next shop update. I've been doing quite a few sticker designs and I had a plan that involved some witch stickers but I think I'm going to actually save those for October and do like a whole witch theme update because I have a couple of ideas more than I'll be able to do in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm going to do the tattoo stickers and I have some other sort of like um, colourful designs in mind that I'm going to call like a rainbow set. So it's going to be the tattoo themed set and the rainbow themed set and I'm gonna try and make some prints too so that's what I'm thinking um, I still don't know when it's gonna be finished I'm aiming for end of April to mid May hopefully but I'll let you know when I have a solid date I'm hoping that possibly when I have some more funds available that I can make like maybe some keychains or some pins notebooks even would be cool or like sticky pads yeah but I think I need to do quite a bit of research into different manufacturers and prices um, to figure out how much money I need to start off with that I think the main thing I want to get sorted first is hopefully buying a silhouette cutter so that I can make sticker sheets because I wanted to do the tattoo thing as a like a single pack or maybe a sheet but yeah it would be a lot of stickers to cut out every time someone makes that order so um, I don't really want to put my wrists through that so I also think I'll sell them individually for now um, but I might turn them into a sheet in the future but the individual stickers will be quite large so it's probably like eight centimeters tall four or five centimeters wide depending on the design I do want to expand into more products like stationary kind of things that people can use. I, I love pins, so I want to make pins. Even like patches would be really cool. But yeah, that's something that I need to do quite a bit more research on. But yeah, I just wanted to sort of share my thoughts about the future of the store. So yeah, it's been kind of a... I don't know, I've had good days and bad days these past two weeks and I'm feeling better today than I was. Um, I feel like things are looking up at the moment, so that's good. I'm feeling optimistic right now. Although I did just wake up from a nap, so you know it's how long it lasts. Today was a good day. I didn't get a whole lot done work-wise, but um, yeah, I feel good today. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. I realize I'm wearing the same shirt from the start of the video, but <laughs> these are filmed on separate days. I just like this shirt. <laughs>